Before we finish this module, it's absolutely critical that I do everything I can to take how I think and implant it into your brain. Why? Because when you think like I do, you'll take the actions that I would take. And when you do that, you create success for yourself. Let's start by giving you what I call the four factors of failure. As the title would suggest, these are key things that you must avoid in order to create the success that I want for you. The first factor is what I call the fear of burning money. Look, here's the reality. Starting this business requires capital. This is something that may scare you when you get started. If I told you that it didn't scare me when, when I started, well, I'd be lying. But you know what? I got over this, invested my capital, got my items selling, and I created a business that paid me handsomely. You must avoid hanging on to your money for dear life and realize that there is an infinite supply of money in the world. You just haven't been taught how to go out there and grab that money. I'll help you with this. The best way to avoid this fear is to put aside a capital fund that you'll use as your investment money. As I've told you before, it's best to have a thousand to three thousand dollars available to get started in this business. If you've got additional funds, that's fantastic, but note that you won't necessarily be using all of your investment fund on your first item. The key thing to remember when you're in this business is that you're not spending money. No, you're investing it in an asset that will grow you to at least double your money. The 4S product process will help you find items that are going to get you this type of a return. Another good way to raise this capital that you're happy to invest in is to take a part-time job or maybe use services such as Uber to earn additional money outside of your current job. Getting over this fear is key and the only way to do it is to take action and invest in products. There's no other way. Next, avoid dabbling in other businesses. As entrepreneurs, we're all susceptible to ADD. We're no different. But the way to succeed in business is to focus on one thing at a time. If you're trying to do affiliate marketing, learn paid advertising, trying to become a consultant while trying to start an e-commerce store and go through this system, your chances of, of success are slim. Close off all other distractions. Get off email lists that don't serve you anymore and double down on this process. It's the best way to experience the success you desire, period. The, ne the next factor of failure that I often see is the shortcut mentality. Look, this system has absolutely everything you need to do to create success globally on Amazon. Everything outside this system is a distraction. I've taken care to shortcut the learning process as much as physically possible. If you try to create further shortcuts, then you're simply not going to be following my system. And as I've talked about earlier in this module, if you're not following what I teach, then you're not going to experience the results you deserve. The shortcut mentality comes from fear. Fear of the process not working, fear of not making progress, fear of it taking too long, and I get it. When you start to go down this path, remind yourself that the best way to succeed is by following the process exactly as I outline. Put all your focus on this and you'll amaze yourself with what happens. Remember, pro progress always starts slow, but momentum and the compounding effort of time with action will create phenomenally fast results in time. Now, I'd like to give you the seven pillars of success with this system. Remember these and internalize them. First, I have fulfill demand, don't create it. This is the key within my system. You're always looking to simply fulfill the demand that's already on Amazon. You're never trying to create demand. Why? Because it's expensive and takes too long. Find items that people are throwing money at with low competition and simply lie down in front of them. It will make you very wealthy. Next, I have the coffee shop reality. What I'm saying here is simple. Imagine you start a coffee shop in your hometown. Think of all the things you'd have to buy, buildings you'd have to rent, staff you'd have to employ. Now ask yourself, how much would all of this cost? $40,000, $50,000, $60,000? And that's just to start a coffee shop. So why is it that people are happy to find the money to start something that might take years for them to break even on, but when they start an online business, 
They want to do it for $500. Don't be that person. Get some real capital together and invest. Treat this like a real business. Why? Because it is one. You'll break even and be in profit far, far faster than starting a coffee shop. That I can tell you with 100% certainty. Next, everything is variable. In simple terms, I want to take on expenses that are tied to sales as much as humanly possible. Fixed costs like staff, warehousing, etc. Take away your freedom. Let other people invest in those things and focus on leveraging them instead. Keep your expenses as variable as possible and you'll protect yourself and your business hugely. Next, more time is not equal to more money. It's true. We want to put time in at the start of our business to find our items that fuel our growth. Then at the back of that, we want to be able to put in less time, leverage Amazon's international client base and enjoy the profits. We never ever want to be pumping in extra time doing tasks that don't give us the return on investment and energy that we deserve. Good examples, begging customers for reviews, giving away items in the hope that we'll sell more, driving paid ads outside Amazon to our Amazon listing. You're here to build a lifestyle business that removes time from the wealth equation. Never forget that. Next, data is king. Simple as that. Act on what the numbers are telling you, nothing else. The domino effect. I talked about this earlier. When you start out, progress will be slow, but give your items time to sell and to grow, and in a matter of months, that compounding time will blow your mind. The biggest mistake we see is when sellers sit there looking at sales all day, every day, wondering when the item will start going crazy and selling hundreds a day. Avoid this and instead go find your next item while you give your items the time they need to get into the Amazon system and start cranking. Dull is sexy. It's true. Keep your items dull and boring and as non-sexy as possible. I want rule of five businesses that are so dull, so boring, but also so profitable. If you can avoid the sexy, shiny stuff, you'll do incredibly well with this system.